This podcast is brought to you by Nectar. My name is Claire. I am a provisional psychologist and I work with clients across lifespan from children to adults. In therapy, I adopt flexibly from a range of therapeutic modalities including cognitive behavioural therapy, acceptance and commitment therapy, as well as mindfulness. So today I'm going to share a bit more about mindfulness. So the mind is a bit like an out-of-control judgement machine. It's going to constantly churn out judgments about everything and everyone, about the past, the future, and even yourself. So sometimes especially yourself. Right? So for example, if your boss criticizes you at work, your mind might start churning out judgments like, I'm bad at everything I do, or I'm a failure, or my boss hates me. Or for example, if you have an argument with your partner, your mind might start churning out judgments like, they don't care about me, or I'm unlovable, or they're always like this. So there's a good reason why the mind does all of this judging. In the past, our ancestors lived in a world of constant danger. They had to make quick judgments about what was good or bad, helpful or harmful. For instance, if they saw a shadow in the distance, it was very helpful and very adaptive if they could quickly decide if that shadow was going to be a threat to their survival. So our modern minds have evolved this very helpful ability to make quick judgments. It was adaptive if our mind, if our ancestors could err on the side of caution and judge something as a bit more threatening or as more negative than they really are. This is to ensure that they are kept safe. So this is something that a normal, healthy human mind does. It makes judgment. Sometimes, some of these judgments are helpful Right, so for example, if we're walking in a dark alley alone and there's a stranger following us really closely behind holding a knife, there's a good chance that your mind might then start churning out judgments like this is an unsafe situation, you need to get out of here. Right, so then that prepares our body to flee a dangerous situation. So the problem is not with the mind making all of these judgments. The problem comes up when we buy into all of these judgments as facts and as reality so that they cause us additional pain or struggles. So this is where mindfulness comes in, right? Mindfulness gives us a little bit of distance so that we don't immediately buy into these judgments as facts and as reality. And instead, we have a little bit of time to notice these judgments coming up. Sometimes the mind does all of this judging so quickly and automatically that we barely notice what it's saying before we start feeling bad about ourselves and about the situation. So if it's okay with you, I would like to take you through a quick mindfulness exercise. And this is really just a primer of what mindfulness might look like in unhooking and diffusing from some of those painful thoughts. This is adapted from Russ Harris's Hexaple exercise. Whenever you're ready, get into a comfortable position. Sit up straight and drop your shoulders. You can choose to close your eyes or fix your eyes on the spot, whichever you prefer. And so for the next few moments, just take a quick scan of your body, starting from your head to your toes, starting from the very top of your scalp. Notice the sensations you feel there. Notice what you feel in your ears, your face, your neck, your shoulders, arms, hands, your legs, and your feet. Now notice if you can hear anything around you. Notice if there's anything you can see, even if your eyes close. Notice anything you can smell or taste. And now turning your attention from your external environment to your internal environment and notice if there are any thoughts going through your head. Or if there are no thoughts at all, notice that as well. And notice if you're experiencing any emotions right now. So life is like a stage show and 
on the stage are all the things that you can hear, see, smell, taste and touch, as well as all of your thoughts and all of your emotions. So there's a part of yourself that can step back and notice all of these things. You can call it anything you want, but I would like to call it the observing self or the mindful self. And so in this exercise, I would like you to shine the spotlight on your breathing. For the next few moments, let's focus our attention on emptying our lungs of any air then allowing them to refill again all by themselves. As you're doing this, notice the breath as if you're a curious scientist encountering the breathing for the very first time. Notice your chest rise and fall. And notice your stomach rise and fall. Notice the sensations as the breath comes in and out. So as you're doing this, you might find that your mind is coming up with all sorts of judgments, perhaps about yourself, about this exercise. You may find that thoughts or images are coming up, perhaps about things that you just did or things you have to do later on. If this happens, simply notice what your mind has done. Gently bring your attention back to your breath. This is what a normal, healthy human mind does. It's going to turn out judgments and stories. It's going to try and distract you. Simply bring your attention back to your breath. See if you can let the thoughts pass by like sushi plates on a conveyor belt. Bringing your attention back to your breath. So life is like a stage show and on the stage are all of the things that you can see, hear, smell, taste and touch. As well as all of your thoughts and all of your emotions. In this exercise, we've shown a spotlight on your breathing. And now I would like you to turn up the lights on the stage. Whenever you're ready, you can come back into this room and open your eyes. Notice things that you can see in this room. Notice anything you can hear. Smell. Taste. brings our exercise to an end. So sometimes people might wonder how focusing on your breath or doing some mindfulness exercises will help with some of the painful experiences that they're going through. So this is a bit like going to the gym, right? Sometimes you go to the gym, you lift some weights, you're not going to get immediately healthier on that night. However, if you keep going regularly, even though you might not notice a difference day to day, over time, one day you might find that when you climb the stairs, you feel a little bit less breathless or you feel, you feel a little bit sluggish as you go through your day. So with mindfulness, it's a bit of the same thing. You want to train that observing self part of you so that the next time some really painful judgments come up or your mind judges things, you're able to step back and recognize some of these judgments 
without letting them influence the way that you feel or the way that you behave. We hope this podcast has been useful. If you'd like to learn more about mindfulness, do tune in to our other podcasts.